Hello, and welcome to the Cordius 2.0 Diagram and Diagram Collection Management Tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to manage your collections of diagrams, diagrams that you either made yourself or diagrams that you found via the Chord Finder or the Scale Finder. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so everything we're going to be doing here today is going to be in the library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the library button, bring up this, I make the window a little bit bigger. Okay, on the left hand side we have the collection list. So these are all the diagram collections that you've created. Uh, you can create as many as you want, you can name them whatever you want. As you can see we have uh, some collections left over from the previous tutorials. So the quick start tutorial uh, and the chord finder tutorial and the scale finder tutorial created three different collections. And you can see when I select them on the right hand side it will then load up the diagrams that are in that collection. So it's a really simple organization. You can create as many collections as you want and have as many diagrams in each collection. Uh, and uh, as we go through this, I'll show you how you can create new collections, create new diagrams, and, and move them around, make copies, and, and however you want to, uh, to organize uh, all the diagrams you create. So first, in terms of uh, managing the collections themselves, we have some buttons down here in the bottom left. The first is a plus button, or the create. So I can go ahead and create a new collection. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the default. The name is new collection. So you can see now I've added the new collection here and uh, it currently has no diagrams in it. If I click on edit or simply double click uh, on the uh, diagram, I can go ahead and rename it. So I'm going to call this renamed collection. All right, so also done it by clicking on the edit button uh, and here we have the, the final option kind of in, the, in this trio right here uh, delete so I can go ahead and delete that collection if I don't want it anymore um, the final button right here on the bottom is if I have a collection uh, this lets you edit the base style of a entire collection uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this right now, but if you see if I click on it, it brings up this dialog. And there's a bunch of different options for things you can change uh, to change the look and feel of all of the diagrams in, in the collection itself. And uh, but I will cover this in a more uh, in a later tut uh, tutorial video. So let me just cancel out of that for now. Uh, now you saw that I've been doing everything from down here with the buttons, but you'll also find if you right-click on a collection. And you get a little pop-up here. Uh, we have some of those same options. You can still create new collections, edit or you know, rename a collection, uh, or delete a collection. And here's the button to bring up the uh, style editor. Uh, we also have some more options here. Uh, in this case, we have this clone uh, option. So this lets you create a copy of uh, an existing collection with all of its diagrams. So if you wanted to, I could say create clone chord finder tutorial and call this collection A. And now you'll see I have a new collection, so here's the original Chord Finder tutorial, and here's a new collection called Collection A uh, with the exact same you know, copies of those same diagrams inside of it. So this is a quick and easy way um, to create backups if you want to save off a collection the way it is and you don't want to make sure you don't lose it. This is a quick and easy way uh, to, to create duplicate uh, duplicates of your existing collections is to clone them with the clone option. Now if we actually go in on the right hand side and look at the actual diagrams themselves, so let's say we're in this collection A, uh, we have four diagrams, has the counter there on the top. Uh, you can select the diagrams uh, you know, either individually, if you hold control you can select multiple, um, or if you hold shift you can select a bunch in a row, just like you would select anything else on the computer. Um, and we have some more options down here at the bottom. So the very first uh, is creating a new diagram. So I won't, again, I won't go into a lot of detail about how this works, but basically this brings up a diagram editor with a blank diagram, and here you can manually create the exact diagram that you, that you want to have drawn on the screen. So there's a ton of options in here, and it's gonna have a whole video all to itself. Um, but for, for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay and add that blank uh, diagram right there into the collection. Uh, again, we also have uh, an edit pencil. So if I click on edit, it will try to edit that diagram again and it will bring up this editor. Um, and again, just like with the collection list, you can also just double click 
on a diagram to bring up the diagram editor. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. Uh, of course, we have delete. So if I wanted to, like, okay, I don't want this. Doesn't really fit in here in this collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete and delete that. And of course, you can select multiple diagrams and delete them. Uh, you can't edit multiple diagrams at the same time. If you try to edit multiple diagrams, uh, it'll give you a warning until you have to pick just one that you want to edit. But so that's how that works. Uh, and then the final option down here is the uh, export, which we've seen very briefly in the quick start tutorial, but uh, this essentially lets you export your diagrams as image files. So you can select one or multiple uh, diagrams, click on this button, and brings up a dialog here, and there's a bunch of different options in here, and I, again, this will have its own uh, video uh, in the future. But this lets you basically save these individual uh, in, uh, diagrams off as image files that you can then use on web pages or import them into documents or however you want to use them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Uh, now I'm going to show you a bunch of other options that aren't buttons for down here, but and, and just like on the uh, collection list, uh, you bring it up with the pop-up menu by right-clicking. So if I right-click on this diagram, you'll see I have the same starting basic op options, new, edit, and delete, uh, and there's export. Now we have a bunch of uh, other options, so we have options for copying the image into the, uh, into the clipboard. So what this lets you do is, say you don't want to go through the whole hassle of exporting an image uh, out to a file and then importing it into a document, you can just do copy image to clipboard, and then if I bring up paint really quick and go ahead and click paste, there. So that's a quick and easy way uh, to, you know, essentially copy and pasting images directly into, you know, Word or Paint or whatever program you're using to uh, uh, to show a bunch of diagrams um, that you're going to print out, let's say, or put up on the web. <coughs> uh, you'll also see if I right click here, uh, copy scaled image to clipboard which gives you the option of putting a percentage. So like if I say 200% there, hit OK. Now when I go back and hit Paste, now we have a diagram that's twice as big. It's been scaled up larger. And the nice thing you'll notice is that uh, even though I've uh, created it twice as big, it's not all pixely. So that's the whole power of Cordius is you can draw diagrams at any size and they'll be nice, crisp, clean lines. Um, so, we have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Or well, first, the other option, of course, if you're a keyboard user, is instead of right-clicking, you can always just press Control-C and then Control-V to paste it. Um, alternately, you can press Control-Shift-C to bring up the uh, this dialog again, and you can copy and paste uh, directly into um, uh, whatever document editor or paint program, whatever that you're using. Uh, the final option is kind of an advanced option here, is to copy the SVG code to the clipboard. Uh, unless you're familiar with using SVG, um, this is not really a useful option, but if you are, it's available here. Uh, I should also note that in other places in Cordius, we have um, this functionality also works in the chord finder and the scale finder. You can right click now. Uh, on the diagrams and copy the images directly to the clipboard. So if you want to, you don't even have to uh, save them all the way here. So if, for example, if I go and close out the diagram library really quick, go into the chord finder now and just do a search, you'll see that I can just right click now and I can copy the same images directly to the clipboard. So if you want, you can just get them quick and dirty and paste them directly in whatever you, wherever you need them without saving them off. But I digress. The purpose of this video is to show off um, how you can actually manage your collection. So, all right, full screen, fine. Um, so let's go back to collection A here. Bring up this right click menu again. Uh, we have a reset styles button. Um, this I will cover in more detail when I go over the styles here, but essentially this lets you reset the style. If you've changed a style on a particular image, you can reset it back to whatever the collection default is. Um, so that's useful for fixing mistakes or you know, diagrams that aren't looking right. Um, but the final three options we have here for managing diagrams, we have clone, copy, and move. So clone lets you make a copy of a collection, sorry, a copy of a diagram directly in the collection that it's in. 
uh, copy lets you make a copy of the diagram into another collection and move lets you move a diagram to another collection. So let's say, let's start with this G chord. I right click on here and do clone. As you can see, now I have another G. It's exactly the same. Uh, I can take this and right click. If I do copy, it's now going to ask me for a collection and I can pick an existing collection or I can just type in a new name. So let's say I create collection B here and hit OK. So now if I load up collection B, now you'll see I've now copied that one diagram in there. Uh, and finally, uh, we have move, which again, I right click it move and I can say move that to collection B. And now you'll see it's disappeared and is now in collection B. And I have two of the same, but these, as far as quality is concerned, these are two separate diagrams. I can edit them and change them differently. Um, and that's basically it for managing diagrams. Uh, you see, you can create as many collections as you want. You can move them between them. You can organize your collections however you see fit. You may want to have different collections of different instruments, or maybe you want to have all the G chords in one collection, or all G chords for a particular instrument in one collection. It's really up to you. Um, and in later videos, I will show the power of being able to have uh, diagrams and collections is have a lot to do with this styling options and being able to, uh, in bulk, change the look and feel of diagrams. You could say have a collection of diagrams that, uh, you know, you're going to use for one set of, of handouts and then another set that's more professional looking for a book or whatever you want. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Keep on the lookout for future videos as I go through more of the features in Cordius, and thank you.